All right, welcome back to Stellaris, where after a humiliating defeat, um, we're now going to be very angry and uh, get revenge. Uh, basically, I am Germany right now. <laughs> uh, where is... Um, can I not get... Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so I need claims here, here, here. Construction complete. Ooh, is this a, um... Ooh, I don't think they have connections to anywhere else in the galaxy from here. That's good. Okay. Oh, now they're coming into my territory. Like, making sure that I'm not being a bad boy. Alright, that, that's it. You've just lost your living privileges, mister. Hmm. Actually, I guess I could make food slaves and then just build bioreactors. Although bioreactors are kind of shit because they don't give you jobs. Which means that your planets are going to be a bit more shit. Build a bunch of those. Build a city district, except I can't because my economy is shit right now. Yeah, my economy is really bad right now. That's fine. Actually, I can go in here and steal their technology. Because right now, because we have a truce, we can't close each of the borders. <laughs> how, do, how do these guys feel about me? They're wary about me. They liked me at one point. So that's sad that they don't like me anymore. You know, honestly, if if I just wasn't xenophobic, these guys would probably love me because we'd be the exact same ethics. <laughs> yeah, if I didn't choose xenophobia, I would have chose authoritarian, so... <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, God. My people are dying. This isn't very fair. Um, let's get you out of engineering, because you're needed in the physics. And let's get the guy that I just hired in engineering. Excellent. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, now I'm going to be much more prepared for the next war. Unfortunately, though, I failed the first war, and that war was going to jumpstart my economy, hopefully. And, yeah, now I'm kind of working on a bad economy, uh, with a bad... Just really everything. My navy is bad, my economy's bad. My people are angry. I'm stealing technology, though. That's that's good. All right, get back out of there. You stole the technology. Did your job. Yep, afterburners. If uh, I had maximum dodge, I may have been able to win that. Yeah, my guess, though, is that... If... Uh, the, the reason why I lost that second battle was just purely down to dodge. I got lucky with my dodges in the first battle, but... In the second battle, I was not so lucky, and that's why I lost. Also, this place needs jobs. Damn it. Yeah, I just do not have the economy to really do much right now. Like, I need to get alloy foundries up and running. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, my, my people are dumb as shit. <laughs> We're just being militarist bastards. <laughs> oh, shit. Which is sad, because I'm pretty sure I made my primary species good at science, but I've just not been able to do science. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. 
All right. Yeah, well, what is their species like? I'm curious. They're researchers. They're better leaders. They don't like to move around. And they like arid planets. Well. Archaeological site in Gnis. Alright, sure. I don't even know where Gnis is. Where the fuck is it? There it is. I found it. Actually, the guy up there, he can do it. This is, I guess, just a, um, there's not, like, anything unique about it. It's just, like, a random one. How many Precursor Insights do I need left? Um, the Voltime? I need one more. Fuck. Um, how many things do I need? I need 25. Well, hopefully I get four, um, what are these called? Minor Artifacts? Yeah, hopefully I get four Minor Artifacts from that. Well, yeah, this would have been very useful a bit ago, but... Well, I have it now, so hopefully my leaders won't die now. <laughs> Especially my maniacal guy, because I need him to research me psionic stuff. Alright, well, now that i fixed my consumer goods problems, now I need to get slave facilities. Yes. <laughs> that is, of course, the next logical progression. Uh, wormhole travel? I don't even have a wormhole game. Fuck you. <laughs> The fuck? Yeah, I need war technologies, not fucking wormhole tech. I, what the hell are these guys even doing? They're just like snaking around. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're just snaking around like a bunch of idiots. At least, though, they recognize that this area isn't safe, so they build a star base here. That's actually quite smart of them. Because, yeah, their potential enemies over here could just go from this system down here, sneak around it, and back up there. So, yeah, it's rather smart of them. Do I expect that I will... That was loud as fuck. Hey, I just need one more minor artifact. Fuck yeah. That I could find my precursors and find out what the fuck um, they do. Because I don't remember what the full time do. And I actually haven't even looked it up because I can't be bothered to. Yeah, slave processing. Slave processing. Yeah, yeah what does the slave processing facility give? It, it gives less slave political power and extra slave um, output. Yeah, the reduced political power, I think, means that they they give reduced crime, they give reduced stability hits, or something like that. I don't fully remember. Uh, in fact, maybe if I look at it... Um, let's see here. Political power. Um, political power represents the level of influence a pop has in planetary affairs. Pops with a high level of political power have their happiness count for more when determining the overall pop approval rating. Approval rating. Okay, so the happiness of the planet. Okay. Yeah, so basically building slave processing facilities means that slaves don't have rights. I mean, they don't have all rights already, but whatever. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I should have looked at their ships a bit better during the war because then I could have figured out what they like. If they like armor or shields, and then if they like anti-armor or anti-shields. That would have been nice to know, but sadly, I don't have the information. Also, what just ended? Declare Saint, okay. Right, so for my fleet, it is weak as shit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And I can't really do much about it because my economy's too shit. It's too fucking shit. I mean, I can get new tech like all day, but the problem is, like, if I can't even build ships, that's a big issue. See, I think whenever I get the chance, I'm going to build alloy foundries. 
Yeah, safe processing facilities are nice and all, but that's only going to give me extra energy and minerals, which isn't useful. Hey, I can get a, um, a thing. Wherever it is I pressed that button at, it's in here. Where is it? There we go. Uh, Precursor Insights. Boom. <coughs> Wait, what the fuck? Huh. Okay. Terraforming? That'd be kind of nice, actually. Um, now let's get rid of dangerous wildlife. <coughs> Construction complete. Construction complete. Rocket attack. Do I actually have any crystals in my borders? No, I don't. At least aside from what my uh, my people shit out. I'm getting a lot of uh, stuff from that. I don't know. Special project. All right, let's see here. Full-time artifact recovered. I now know where their home system is over here. All right. Uh, the vault time. Okay. So uh, one of these guys attacked the other one. I don't know which one it was because I wasn't paying attention. So I think the vault time are. I don't think you get a planet from them. Um, at all. I think you just get like a lot of science. I think. But I have no clue. So. Alright, let's see what we get. Uh, where's the one that I care about? Probably this one with all the space shit around it. Actually, maybe this one. Come on. Show me what I want to see. That was the wrong one. Damn it. It was this one. I know one of the precursors is like a toxic world, but I guess not this one. Uh, this is the one that blew up. Okay. Alright, come on. Show me what I want. A reality perforator. And I can now learn about the secrets of the Volt Time. Okay, what is... Well, what's this? The Oracle. Ooh, the Oracle. No, no, I can have the gov- uh, from what I remember, the Oracle is a really good governor. A skill 5 immortal governor, I believe, but... <clears throat> Let's see, 10 extra stability, minus 45 crime, plus 20% unity, less research. You know what, I'm already shit at research, might as well make myself even worse, right? <laughs> Alright, what is the perforator? Uh, reduce amenities usage, hell yeah. And, uh, powerful temporary combat advantages, you say. <laughs> Well, that sounds quite nice. Oh shit, five gases. Nice. It appears that the Volt Time are also extremely gassy, like my species. <laughs> System survey complete. Okay. Well, 
this might turn the tide of the war then, and I do quite like reduced amenities usage, because I find amenities a pain in the ass to deal with. Hmm. How much do I need to reinforce my fleet? I need 2,018. Alright. Should be simple enough. Mostly. Oh, and we'll see. Yeah, I just need to get more alloy foundries. And the problem is my species grows so slowly that's a problem. That's a lot of shit that I can't remove. More shit I can't remove. More shit I can't remove. Alright, see, so yeah, I've removed all the tile blockers that I can. Great, I had a great alloy production earlier on in the game, but now my fucking consumer goods are through the fucking roof. Which is the exact opposite of what I need right now. Fuck me. Alright then. Hmm. Ooh, there's a uh, artisan troop over here. Nice. Actually, speaking of which, I'm probably friendly with the artisan troop, aren't I? Yeah, so I can have them. Uh, I could buy a Ministry of Culture. Uh, I can organize a festival, though. But because I'm xenophobic, I think that means I have the highest possible chance of having that, that have a bad outcome. So actually, probably not. Bulwark of Harmony would be quite useful. Yeah, so now there's no crime in my world. So that's very nice. The Oracle is very nice. And then I'll see extra stability. That's nice. Yeah, it sucks that I have less science output, but that is only really affecting my capital. So, yeah, if I want to have like a good science world, I can always have like somewhere out of the Oracle's sphere of influence. But, yeah. Yeah, I can just slowly get enough alloys, I guess. It's gonna take a while, though. Actually, I guess I can sell the, um... Consumer goods now, because I'm making fucking plenty. Alright, and I... I think I actually do have enough to build my fleet again. Excellent. Oh, no, I need a little bit more. Like, like how much... Oh, I need one more. Actually, no, I don't. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> also, this dude only leveled up once during that war? Shit. And he's 88 years old, which means he's probably going to kick the bucket soon, right? Let's see here. Uh, oh, no. He, my species starts dying at age 150. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> Actually, aren't rocks longer living? Yeah. So, with lithoids, you could theoretically make a species that lives the entire game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I kind of want to do that now. Make a species that has really good leaders. And also... Lives a really long time. That sounds like an interesting uh, campaign. You're not good at anything specific, except your leaders. They're really fucking good. Ooh, yeah, that sounds quite interesting, actually. Although I don't really want to do two Lithoid campaigns in a row. Why can't I... Oh, you're kidding me. That... Mm. Anger. <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> I should be able to har harvest the fucking energy, but not the... Dang. God damn it, that's stupid. Uh, damn it. Uh. Yeah, I'm very curious of what this could do, but I don't want to really click it until I go to war. Starhold? Mm. Yeah, let's get the Starhold. That would allow me to get more um, anchor riches. Yeah, the Blade of the Huntress is kind of shit. Planet sensor range? That's just such a weird effect. <laughs> 
Like, the sublight speed is nice, but it's not, like, really good enough to justify using it over something else. Also, I swear if the reality perforator gives me less sublight speed than this, and nothing else, I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> uh, shit, well... I think uh, that'll be it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Oh, shit, they just closed the borders to me. Oh, go, hold on, we're gonna see what these guys want to sell me. A new, a new mystic shrine? Sure, I'll fucking take it. Now go away. I'll see you next time.